the border crossing between Serbia and Croatia, and it's a mess here. It's a mess. Literally. This says, welcome to Croatia, I guess. Um, there's trash everywhere. I mean, there's just, it's just lined up with trash. And there is probably like a six hour long wait here of cars that are waiting to get into the country, but due to this re refugee problem, they're not letting a lot of people in and um, a lot of people just have to wait. So I've been waiting a lot lately to do this hitchhiking stuff, but today I consider myself very, very, very blessed because I'm walking past all of this and everyone is just staring at me with looks of hatred because I'm walking and they're in a car but I'm going to go up to the front of this line and I'm going to hitchhike after I get through the crossing and I don't have to wait. So anyways, that's the benefit of being um, by foot and I think I'm gonna get into the country with my passport. I don't think they're gonna deny me, at least I hope not. I don't think I look too dangerous, but yeah, whenever I was in Serbia, there were just people sleeping in tents, like in parks and all over the place just because Someone told me that they're letting like 20,000 people in a day. I don't know if that's exaggerated or not. But anyways, yeah, I just know that there are people sleeping all over in tents, there's trash everywhere, and lots and lots of lines. So I know this problem is a little serious right now, and I'm just trying to make sure that I stay safe since I'm doing this alone, and that I'm choosing like the people wisely, the ones that I get in the car with, and make sure that you know, everything's good. So anyways, that's it. Now I'm officially in Croatia again, and I will see you guys in Zagreb. Ciao.